<laughs> so this is red red sunim that we've put in here um, and we're putting it as a cover crop after tobacco uh, and then we'll bring we'll come back to tobacco in the land here because we found that um, where we did do it as a cover crop and put it into the ground we didn't get anywhere near the amount of eelworm in the land that we did in fact we did 20 lines with uh, no chemicals on it at all and we didn't have uh, ill women. I do not recommend that. Uh, it's not a recommendation. It was just we were trying to see as an experiment what it does to the soil. And um, you can see these are the flowers. And we want about 10% uh, or 20% 20, 20 flowers in here before we roam it down. Because um, the harder it gets down here, it takes longer to... This becomes very woody. And harder to rot down so you don't want this too hard because it takes longer to rot down into the soil to make the compost um, I have got the the breakdown for the um, the value of this crop to put in into the soil the uh, uh, the analysis so we'll get it to you I'll give it to Ivan to to put onto the the group so that's what we're trying to do. So last year when we did it on a, on vegetation like this, in one meter we got 60 kgs of green matter. And on that on 60 kgs that means it's 60 tons per hectare of compost that you're putting back of carbon and and compost that you're putting back into your soil. So at the end of the day you need to build up your soil and we need to try and get where the soil is, is in a better condition from being used, used year after year after year and breaking down um, into a more coarse sand. We want to get some humus and carbon back into the soil.